Hey Miners, it feels like it's been an eternity since I've done a video, but today we're going to be checking out triple mining. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, it has been quite some time since I've done an actual video on YouTube, uh, especially a how to. So that's kind of like my usually what I do on my channel is a lot of how to videos. So um, it's been a minute. It's been over a month since I've done some normal content for you guys, but let's get in it. Let's get into it today. And we're going to be looking at team red miner and triple mining. All right, guys. So we're over here at team red miner. This is team red miner version. Dot 10 dot eight. So as we see, there's been a few highlights in the readme file. And the third one down below is added triple mining to Erg plus or Ergo plus Caspa plus Zill, right? Which is really, really cool that we're able to add dual mining to this section. And then there's been some fixes, it looks like, like fix the Hive OS Erg plus Cas issues with some stray errors, it looks like, with our DNA 2 GPUs. This is really exciting. Um, I haven't, I've dual mined before, right? I've dual mined some uh, Ethereum and Ton and Ethereum and Alethium when that kind of first came out and I did that for a little bit. But I haven't ever actually tripled mine all coins. And I know that there's gonna be some kind of performance hit. Um, you are gonna be using the full potential of your GPU because Caspa is more core, Ergo is more memory, and Zill is is actually not mined 24 seven, right? It happens like, what is it like, once an hour or hour and a half, it mines for like 90 seconds to Zill and that's it. So it's just like a very small uh, time window that the Zillica mining actually goes on, right? So we're going to be triple mining today in Hive OS. We're over here at my farm in Hive OS. This is the stuff that's at my house. So I only have a couple things on right now. Some of these rigs don't even exist anymore. They've been compiled into other rigs. So um, we're going to go to my Yoda rig, which is my RX 6600s. These are my Sapphires. So, you know, I know these little 6600s, they like don't hash really high man dude but their efficiency is is just game changing i love these little cards i'm i'll mine them into the ground you know what i mean so let's go over my flight sheet and what i had to do to set this up this is my flight sheet for triple mining so obviously when you go on your first coin you want to do ergo where you're going to mine your ergo to fly pool for my ergo pool and then i'm using obviously team red miner and then this will appear down below as soon as you fill all these out and then it'll ask you for your dual coin okay so obviously down here in the dual coin section we're going to put caspa and where what you know what kind of, obviously i'm using the kdx wallet pretty much like a core wallet in windows which i have on a vm and then i I'm configuring the pool in the miner because the pool that I'm using is caspapool.org. Uh, so I had to configure this because HiveOS didn't have this pool in here, but that's where I'm mining my Caspa to. So then after you do the Caspa section, right, which this may be like this with the dotted lines and you probably will have to physically pick Caspa. And be careful when you make changes because this this second coin section over here might revert back to you and play tricks on you. Just be be aware of that. So the next thing you're going to want to do is is you need to add the Zill extra config arguments, okay? Which is a dash dash Zill, and then you're going to want to do space dash O with the Stratum S uh, and SSL connection for whatever pool you're going to be using, right? So we have, I'm using Ezil for my Zill. So if you want, so for you guys, I will take this string here. Obviously don't use my wallet, put your own wallet in there or your own pool, wherever you guys want to mine to. But I'll put this uh, argument down in the comments down below 
and obviously like paste it into into Notepad and then change it into your own um, your own configuration for your pool and your wallet, right? Because on the the next part is dash U. This is where you put your wallet information in for your Zill, and at the very end of the argument, it needs to have dash dash Zill underscore uh, end, and then that is it. That is the that is the argument to be able to mine Zill. So I've already set this up and I've already tested this, but let's go ahead. Let's start the miner back up. Let's get it back up and running so you guys can see firsthand what it looks like inside of Team Red Miner. Also note, you need to make sure that your Hive OS is up to date as well as you uh, have the latest Team Red uh, Miner or else this won't work. So as you see here, we are building the tables. We're also so waiting for the Zill worker initiation to complete. So the Zill is only, um, is it's, it won't be on all the time, as well as there is a, um, this will tune itself. As you see the dual mine tuning right here, you'll see that there are certain points that it wants to tune to because it's on auto tune. So you can see here we have auto Lycos and Ergo and then obviously Caspa zero because Caspa doesn't always mine, right? It's just that little tiny window. So what happens is, is when the Zill round comes, Ergo mining will stop and it will go to Zill. That's how that works. So you, you'll stop mining Ergo, go to Zill, go back to Ergo. So, so far I'm still working on the tuning for these cards because when you start to dual mine and triple mine, you're not going to be able to get the full potential of either one, right? It's going to work its way down and it, you, you won't get a hundred percent of each. So, so far I've been able to get like 1.2 giga hash on Caspa. I'm going to try to make that better because according to what to mine, so it says that I should be at about 1.9 giga hash on Caspa and about 330 mega hash on Ergo. So we are at the 330 mega hash for Ergo, but our Caspa mining is only at about 1.2 giga hash. So I am a little bit short on that. I am gonna try and work on that to bring those numbers up, but this is kind of the give and take that you kind of get while dual mining or triple mining coins, right? You're not gonna get the maximum amount for these coins. So it's gonna be a little bit at a hit, but it's better than running a whole nother rig, right? Because it's only adding a few more Watts the cards that are already mining. So it's it's almost like free coins, sort of. It's like you're mining another coin at like a reduced rate. I will be doing another video in a week from now. And I, I, I want to see the stability of this rig. Um, I'm going to let it just mine right now for one week at just kind of these non-aggressive settings, right? I just want to make sure that this rig will stay up for a week and then after a week after it's been up i will depending upon what goes on between now and then i'll let you know what settings obviously i had to change to make it stable and then once it gets to be stable we'll start playing around with what things can we tweak because obviously we can only tweak so far down because we can't tweak the core down too much right because we're mining caspa and we can't tweak the memory down too low because we're mining ergo so there's going to be only a little bit uh, room for movement as far as as far as fine tuning the cards. So we'll review this in about a week. All right, guys. And it's great to make content again. It's been a while since I've done a how to in Hive. It's been over a month since I've even like even tuned a GPU at all, man. So it feels great to be back in the, you know, in the seat of things here. So be sure to check out that video next week, guys. All right. Just remember, this is the Money King giving you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.